Hello everybody, welcome back to Solbrook Studios into another week here at Hogwarts. I've taken a couple weeks off and I am back here to resume Hogwarts building. This week we're not actually building, but we're destroying. I need to make room to be able to put the Hagrid's Hut into this mock. I'll be putting in Hagrid's Hut kind of in this area. Now, I'm still building Hagrid's Hut as of the time of recording this video, so I'm just going to kind of break down a large section the size of it and then next week I'm going to put it in and add the pieces around it to make it feel like it's actually in the display and not just sitting you know kind of around stuff so let's begin by taking off all of these slopes and stuff like that. I will say with this I want to be able to leave this area in I don't want to touch the Hogwarts Express and Hagrid just want that to be left. I'm also wanting to say how dusty Lego sets get like this has been here a month and dusty. So I've removed all these slopes, G slopes, and studs. You can see a little bit of them remaining back in here on the area I'm not going to touch. But now it's time to remove a bunch of plates. Now my plan is to kind of stop taking stuff off around here and then leave most of this stuff back in here to itself. But pretty much after this, all the stuff I'm going to take off. Here's the area completely cleared off. I'm not going to be putting the Hagrid set back there, so I left that area completely intact. And then this area, I cleared off and cleared as much plates as I could this way until I was hitting the train station, because I want to leave that area there, as we talked about previously. But if you back up from the mock, it just looks, you know, kind of like the olden times of the mock, with the giant white table poking through. Now, the reason I had to actually destroy part of the mock to be able to put Hagrid's hut in is because there's no area for me to just place Hagrid's hut in as there was with the Bobaton's carriage. I actually needed to make a space for Hagrid's hut. Now that space has been made, so once I have it fully built, I'm going to put it in. The butt of the set's going to hit up against this plate and it's going to come forward and then I'm going to plate around as it was previously so the set will be nicely in this area. It's probably going to look something like how this tree looks in this area of the green forest. Here are all the pieces that had to be removed to be able to place Hagrid's hut in. A lot of the plates may or may not go back depending on where they need to go and how big of an area on either side plates need to cover. All these studs, cheese slopes, and slopes will go back into the mock once Hagrid's hut is placed so they can be a variation in the plates and the look of it to give the mock more of a three-dimensional look. With that being said, I will see you next week when we add in Hagrid's hut. 